You're back with Switch and Lever, and today we're kicking off a new series on tool restorations. If you're an avid flea market connoisseur, you no doubt, like myself, have a lot of tools needing a bit of love. First out are a couple of tap handles. Now, before we begin, it's important to note that I'm mainly making these tools functional and only secondly worrying about the cosmetics. Sure, I do love a shiny tool, but in the end they're meant to be used, not to be admired on a shelf. First things first, start by disassembling the tap handles. Make sure you don't lose any parts and place them into a plastic container. In case yours won't come apart, hang on for a future video where I tackle what to do with seized tools. Pour enough white vinegar to just cover your parts. No need to use the fancy stuff, just whatever the cheapest vinegar you can find. Now we wait while the vinegar does most of the heavy lifting for us. An hour should be enough for lightly rusted parts, while you may need longer for heavier rust. Vinegar does a great job at lifting the rust, especially surface rust like this. For more heavy corrosion, there are more effective methods, like other chemicals or electrolysis. Since vinegar can slightly etch the surface finish, I kept the nose cap of one of the tap handles out until just the end, to prevent the finish from being ruined, but still give the vinegar time to work inside the threads. You can of course also mask off areas you don't want the vinegar to get to if you're more concerned than me. Now the good part, pour away the vinegar and rinse the parts thoroughly. Using a stiff brush you should now be able to remove the rust with ease. Make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies and make sure that all the vinegar has been rinsed away as it will continue to corrode the surfaces if left be. As one of the nose caps had been painted red by the previous owner, something a little bit stronger was needed to remove the paint. No problems, a bit of white spirits or acetone and Bob's your uncle. To get some shine back to the surfaces you can polish them up or use scotch Bright to brush the surfaces lightly. It should also help to remove any lingering rust in hard to reach places like the threads or the knurls. Allow the pieces to thoroughly dry. You can speed up the process by using a heat gun or a hairdryer. Don't just leave them around as they will start to corrode quickly if you do not protect them. Use whichever light oil you're comfortable with, but steer clear from compounds which will gum up over time, like the popular 3-in-1 oil for instance. My choice is sewing machine oil. It lubricates well, protects surfaces and will not gum up. I use it for everything from fine mechanical instruments like micrometers, to bike maintenance, door hinges and more. Make sure you cover all surfaces, internal and external, and don't worry about using too much oil. You can always wipe off the excess and it will still leave a film of oil on your parts. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. I like the look of the painted knurls so much that I decided to repaint them red again. After the paint dried it got the same treatment with oil as the other parts and was reassembled. The rust is gone and my tap handles look a lot better and operate smoothly again. I hope you enjoyed the restoration. Stay tuned for more videos like it in the future as I work through my pile of tools in need of love. While you wait, there are always more videos which you can use as procrastination material. Come on, what's one more video? Follow me on Instagram if you're curious where I get all these tools. Until next time!